guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes three and four of Bakuman. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three and three, two, one, go. Oh, we are starting right where we left off. Yeah, because he's still a baby. And of course, he's important. He's, he main character, so of course I don't need to follow his dreams. <laughs> it is weird to watch this officially, like, because it is now officially Monday for us. Um... But I wanted to watch this, like, several days earlier because, of course, I am going to be busy for the next, like, this week going into next week and shit. And then plus a week, some other things. I'm, this summer, for me, I'm just going to be very, very busy. And, you know, because applications and everything and all. So I was just like, yeah, let me go ahead and watch this today. Um, because it's really supposedly, I was supposed to do this, um, excuse me, hours ago, um, around like four or five o'clock in the afternoon, but it rained abruptly. We had a really bad thunderstorm here and I was like, oh, can't record this now. I got to wait until later on in the night. And it didn't really stop until about nine, 10 o'clock. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to watch this video, a video essay that I really enjoyed a lot. Um, and then I was like, okay, I want to get this done so that I can edit this tomorrow with Pretty Cure and then I can watch Twin Star Actresses on Tuesday. Then I gotta get my hair done. So, <laughs> busy, 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 busy bee. <laughs> but I cannot wait to see his uncle's apartment. I mean, because it makes you wonder, like, in the world of, like, my cousin, and, you know, Mega Arthur's, like, what they're, like place of zen or work is like Damn. Mm -mm. so right So? Oh my. I feel like I'm in a toy store. Oh my god. <laughs> Keto. Hmm? Holy shit. It's clean. See, that's what I want. I want like a really nice bookcase to just put all. I don't even have like a big thing of manga. Mine is very small. It's over here on my <laughs> right hand side, but still, like, uh. Mm-hmm. Oh.
Mm-hmm. You can make your series like a death game or a romantic comedy or a comedy in general or um, smart with something. <laughs> Or, oh my god, horror! Yes, because I would really like to see a horror series. Something almost very similar to Final Destination, though. Maybe. I mean, hey, if they all say, hey, I have a key, you want to sing too? Be like, Psh, of course. Oh, thank you. Well, I kind of hope that you get to find someone, like, your significant other in the future. I mean, Shido shouldn't just have all the fun, I'm just saying. Are you gonna <laughs> gonna call home? Talk to your grandfather or your dad?
So, any ideas to be inspired by something? <laughs> Like fan letters or just love letters in general? Oh! <gasps> yeah, the girl he wanted to marry. <laughs> Well, yeah, but we're gonna do it anyway, right? <laughs> so not a Hmm? Open it. A yearbook? Oh, we might see what she looked like! <laughs> you really want to go to someone's house? <laughs> This just seems like a bad idea, you guys, but okay. <laughs>
It's just pretty. Yeah, don't be like one of them weird type people who be like, oh my god, I want to like sniff everything. No. just now crazy to think about it that those two could have been related oh my god But see, the question is, did you see the letters to him as well? Did you save yours? Like, oh. Hmm? <laughs> of course. Did you feel like you wanted to tell him in person instead of in a letter? This was probably about you, wasn't it? <laughs> that would be our shit all over here. <laughs> She's sweet. Mm-hmm. 
But she is going to find out, right? Uh oh. But what if she finds out on her own terms? Yeah, so, um, Best Girl's mom is sweet. Adorable. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Also, Best Mom. Mm hmm It's the positivity that they both have. Like, uh, you just need that in your life. Like, oh my god. I mean, seriously. Even with the situation we are still currently in, even though it's, mm, god, the world is starting to kind of feel almost fairly close to normal again. Even with, like, the one, what did I hear last couple weeks ago? That one other bird flu that's coming out soon. But, like, we just hope and pray that everything goes back to normal. And your girl, even though, like, I think, what, by the end of this month, like, the masks are going to be lifted up for here, us, and for us here in Florida, I can't speak. Um, your girl's still going to be wearing a mask, I don't give a crap. But, like, oh, God, once again, best girl's mom is literally best mom. She's sweet. It, it would have been interesting to now know, like, in a different universe, maybe... <laughs> Best girl's mom and shit would have got together and then they would have been cousins. That probably would have been weird, but like, uh, God, I wonder how this is just gonna go. But I mean, like, to see that it was her that he was in love with and we got to see or really be told about, like, little memories of what she had it would have been interesting if we got to see it more like a flashback into a flashback episode maybe i'm just saying i mean they could do it with the 77 episodes i mean take away hold on 72 episodes that i have left yes there we go but i mean mm, we got a long way to go i mean oh god But I did love, like, like, reading the letters and it. That was probably, like, the best part. Heck, the apartment. Oh, my God. Like, seriously, gave me toy store vibes. I'm like, okay. There, there's two other ways, like, a moment that I can really compare this to. And it's not really a, a moment for me. It was a moment that happened with me and my mother and my cousin at the time. Um, we... <laughs> One year, um, when we had a really bad hurricane, very, very bad hurricane, um, and I got really scared and such, my mom and I decide to, you know, leave, of course, Florida to go to, you know, somewhere safe to not be here for the hurricane and such. Um, <laughs> because my mom likes hair and everything that so much, and ish, we, <laughs> long story short, arrived into a hair store and such because of the fact is we were in Georgia, specifically Atlanta, um, and of course, hair in Atlanta is like the best thing ever there. <laughs> we get into the store and this is, it's this big, big, big behind hair store. 
and my mom literally looks like the floodgates of heaven just came and it's and it's almost like that when when Akito and Chino like get into his uncle's apartment. It's like oh my god, like look at all these extra figures and everything like all around us and such. And it's almost like if I let's say, cause uh, like when I go into a Barnes and Nobles, <laughs> a freaking Barnes and Nobles, I feel at peace. I feel at home. But like imagine that. Like let's just say there's one day, and, cause that day when that day comes, cause like your girl's gonna go nuts. If I get the opportunity to just go to Japan for like a week, two weeks, six weeks, whatever, and I go to um, Akihabara or Shinjuku or anywhere that I really just want to go to, and to be in that moment, I'm going to feel like my lovely mother and the floodgates <laughs> and freaking out over like probably anything and everything just how like okay when I went to New York City for the first time I was freaking out and fangirling over like the, the stupidest things at that time when I was a teenager I can sit and laugh about uh and be like oh my god like, this is not a third, but now I can sit and laugh about it because it's funny to me. But when you get to experience something, like, especially, you know, when you're, like, I've seen people, like, do, um, oh my god, like, the one part in, like, I haven't seen the movie Joker yet, um, the one moment in that movie with the stairs and how people were fangirling over that or, like, any other little tidbits of recreating a moment from a movie, a TV show, whatever, like even like for your name or any other animes or TV shows that I can think of that have had a moment where it's an iconic like place and you get to see it in real life and you're just like ha and awe and everything. It's just, it felt like that even watching that for these two because this is a start or not even like, well, yeah, in a way this now officially feels like the start because it's like, oh my God, it's true. This is real. This is happening in real time for them. And you're just like, you're sitting here watching their adventure and you're like, damn, like, yeah. What is your first little like inspiration going to be? What is your, what is your idea going to be by the end of this? Cause like they could be the next whatever at the end of this, when you're thinking about this, like by the time when I finish the show, when we get to the final episode of this series, like, who knows how these characters are going to be, how much they grow, and everything that they're going to be, like, getting into in the betweens and everything, and this is that and the third. It's kind of like, you know, the journey of seeing, um, something created and stuff. That's like how when you're in, like, Hollywood or anywhere, uh, anywhere else, and you're like, okay, I have something that could be, like, the next big such and such. Or how, like, when a lot of people were, because this is where I kind of, like, go like this with the pain, in between the niche, where somebody says, oh, this could be, like, the next My Hero, this could be the next Death Note, this could be the next One Piece, Bleach, whatever, da-da-da, this is that and the third, where someone says, like, I have the next such and such, and you don't know how it's going to be. Like, someone could come up to me and say, like, hey, Deja, I have the next freaking <laughs> American Horror Story, and I'm just like, do you? Do you really? Like, mm. I'd be one of them people because as someone who loves American Horror Story a lot, like, ish, love it. Because, like, for me, for any anime that I've seen, I've always wanted to see, like, okay, give me feels to, like, something that I watched as a kid, but then also give me something new. That's like, okay, my mother, my love, my lovely mother loves the crap at a death note. Because technically that's her first adult anime that I showed her. So, because of that, <laughs> anything else that I show her, the two things that she loves the most, Death Note and Dorara, that's it. Even though my mom does not like the ending of Dorara, because when we finally finished that show, my mom looked at me and she was like, what the heck was that? And I was just like, mommy, don't be mad. I was like, Jesus, when I finished this, I wasn't mad. I, well, I was a little bit. But, I mean, it was still good from what I enjoyed and everything. But, like, my mom, because she was so antsy to know how it ends. And the same thing with Death Note. Um, because she loves those two shows so much, it is really kind of hard for me to find something else for her to like. And essentially because it's like, whatever your first anime is or introduction into anime, you're always going to look at that one as like the shining beacon of hope. 
and you know this like no matter what nothing can be as great as this but sometimes you do find something like that and whatever like their project or whatever their like end creation is going to be for them specifically it could be the next whatever i still love like the little references to like all the other animes and mangas like <laughs> first two episodes yeah oh this is a death note <laughs> like no i really love that even like the fact that Zakina was talking about dragon ball like oh my god i just really love this show a lot we're not even done it still got one more episode to watch but like oh <laughs> But yes, my best girl's mom is so freaking adorable. I do hope and pray that we get to see a little bit more of her and such because, I mean, it would be nice. I, hell, I would like an episode all on best girl, please. Thank you very much. Just saying. But, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. Sometimes that tells you how passionate someone is. Hell, it just reminds me of when I was like writing and <laughs> I would be up all night writing chapters and chapters of a fanfic. <laughs> I feel like every guy probably had a crush on Azuki's mom when this show was airing. Honestly, I didn't think about this last week. Like, this is the most, like, probably chillest opening I've ever, like, heard for a song. I really like it. Something also kind of tells me, like, later on when we get to maybe probably, like, the first 24 episodes of this show. Probably maybe by, like, episode 12, maybe. We're gonna see, like, uh, opening this is gonna be, like, very poppy, up in your face. I also forgot to say that this gives me hella, um, Month of Girls Ozaki-kun feels, but not, <laughs> there, there's funny moments in this. <laughs> but, um, like, yeah, funny romance moments, like, dead eyes and such, and it makes me really want to watch Month of Girls Ozaki-kun again. <laughs> Hell, I might even watch that one show I was talking about last week that I still don't remember the name of. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, you have packs under your eyes, baby. Jesus Christ, you, sir, you need more sleep. Oh my God, that just reminds me. Oh my God, huh? Get enough sleep, guys. Your partners, right? Well, at least you can be your biggest critic at the same time, damn. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Never would have known about that. <gasps> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yawn. 12.30 in the morning. Well, yeah. I mean, really, as he said, it's only really you two, so he has to do most of the work. So then it makes you wonder, especially when they do it to digital, do they have to do it the same ways? I mean, I'm just asking. Because it seems like it could be a different way, especially from paper to digital, possibly.
<laughs> okay. Luck. <laughs> so fried effort and luck. <sighs> Akito. You seriously gonna do that? Well, you're eyeing some, uh, for Christ's sake, so you can really do anything. <laughs> oh my god! Well, we might meet this person later on. I <laughs> said, no, don't be mad. That's literally a fucking child star. That's him, ain't it?
天。Well, yeah. Hell, there could be someone who's 13 or 14. How am I? 12, maybe? Because it makes you wonder in real life, who is the youngest person, like, to ever have, like, their, their manga into an anime? Like, what age? Yeah, you could just ask her. Exactly. So she, you guys should be together. I mean, mm, mm. Unfortunately, you guys are still at, like, the newbie level, kind of. That's a little messed up, though. 
Yeah. <laughs> mhm mm mhm mm Oh my god so what My god shit I'll get your balls up and just urge her So we really walking by without saying hi or anything. Oh, come on. I know you guys wouldn't want to talk. Oh, oh. I am living for this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like My heart. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, but, okay, here's my thing. If Shittle <laughs> and Azuki do go to a different school, I mean, honestly, I think it would make the most sense because of the fact is of the promise that they made each other between episode one well two to now it would be smart to like not be able to see each other still you know wish each other good luck and this is that in the third and then you know to call whenever you can and then when it's time to finally just bring them both together like oh, i can't this is too much <laughs> this is only episode four and we still have a long freaking way to go before we're at the end of the series. But still, once again, I am enjoying this so freaking much. Even though this is now officially week two and probably annoying myself by Friday. I will probably watch the next two episodes knowing myself. Mm -hmm. I probably will. <laughs> but the fact is that their goal is right now to just have something complete to show someone by the end of the summer break or at least working their ass off during the summer i mean i hope that it pays off i mean sometimes it once again it is a gamble the fact is also a fucking a fucking 15 year old 15 15 are we serious at 15 
I didn't even do all the time and have an opportunity like that. Like, oh God, what the fuck was I doing at 15? I was, mm, well, I was busy with things myself, trying, you know, make a name for myself. And then, you know, I did that more when I got out of high school. But, <laughs> I, I mean, you know what? I have to say, like, I got to give comm- uh, applause on that. I mean, that just tells you, like, how dedicated someone is. I, you know, it still want to know. It makes you wonder out of, like, any of, like, your favorite illustrators, authors, writers, whoever, especially when they make something either in worlds of literary, manga, whatever, and such, it, like, uh, at an early fucking age, like, god damn, that's like, <laughs> once again, like, that is a child star right there. I mean, even without being an actor, like, you know, especially when you, like, for me, when I, like, do a lot of research on, like, an actor or an actress, um, some of my favorite singers, voice actors, voice actor, um, actress, whoever, and I find out, like, what was their, like, first role as, like, a child and such, and then what was that, like, their breakout role? I mean, it's really interesting, because, like, I've done that too much, and, like, mm. <laughs> and it's, but, like, honestly, I really hope, like, Chido and Akito are able to, you know, get, like, a hit. I mean, I- I'm praying that they do. I mean, this is going to be all or nothing and as much as I want to see them succeed in in a way I kind of want to see them also like fail to bring themselves back up from failing from that almost like how like if (laughs) and I can't believe I'm gonna make this a little weird comparison okay I don't think most of like also the guys are going to be watching this um when this episode comes out this week um, have probably seen Love Live Sunshine, but um, let's just say this: there was there's a moment in season one going into season two, where like the story of Aquas feels like failure, but then they're trying to bring themselves out of out of failure. With Muse, they're the ones who like always fucking won no matter what. But Aquas was the group where no matter what, if it's something like okay, we got a zero, but we're gonna turn that zero into something. Whatever happens in their first manuscript, handing it to someone and finding out, like, okay, how do we really know if this person, our editor, whoever, is going to like it? And that's something almost like with any person who goes into anything in a career wonders but then you're you're sitting here thinking okay no matter how many times I go through like this is that the third every single person who gives me a no there's always going to be that one person who's going to like take a chance on me and say that yes maybe by the end of this episode with that person who was on the phone they could be their yes I'm not 100% sure until we get there but I mean like once again they're probably going to be kissing a lot of frogs before they find they prince less princess I'm just saying but I feel like when we do get to see those moments, I think that is probably going to make me cry as someone who has dealt with rejection on like anything where I've gotten denied something and it hurts and you just want to cry and let it out because you hate hearing no for an answer in that and even even now I hate hearing no and I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to prove to these people like yeah like I, I want you to like literally take me on as this is that and the third and such and mm, I just hope that it motivates them because I don't want to be I don't want to get into this show and see maybe Shido or you know or both get into a rut where it's a point where like neither one of them can bring it out like get them out of that rut or whatever or that um that burnout or anything and they're possibly like depressed even though it would be a little interesting to see that because it's like okay you because it's almost like okay how else can I compare this like okay let's say hmm, okay I'm gonna use death note as an example okay so the creator of death note let's say he he made something that is good but not as good as death note and such or like anyone creates something that is like the best work of art and everyone loves it it does good in sales and such and let's say like after that series is done they decide to make something else and it's not as good as their previous series and they are depressed and they're just upset about saying like I put I put my all into this series and I put my all into something else 
why didn't my something else give me the stardom as like this and such because i know mm, the creator of death note made something made another anime series i mean no 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 made another manga series that is supposed to be coming out with an anime this year that i am really truly excited about even though i didn't read the manga but like when i saw it for it i was like oh yes yeah, because like your girl because your girl loves death note so freaking much and like mm, gotta watch and yeah. <laughs> see anything else by the works of art of anything because you know that's because you support that person so freaking much but i would like to still once again see like the ins and the outs and say like okay you have this but and then you have something else that didn't do so hot how do you get yourself out of that rut? So there's going to be a lot of challenges, once again, that these two are going to face. And if we get a moment where it is sad and depressing and very, very upsetting, oh, God, like, that's going to hurt me so much. Because I feel like we're only four episodes in right now, and we're very much into the lighthearted, sweet, like, oh, my God, we're going to get opportunity after opportunity after opportunity and, you know, we're going to get wins on wins on wins on wins. But I think once we get that loss for these two, it, it's going to hurt me so freaking bad. And I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Just like seriously, because I feel like it, it's coming soon. But I don't know what the loss is going to be and how bad it's going to hit these two so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Bakuman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Patreon squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.